When setting up Payment Gateway, you have three options to choose from. You have Authorize Sign Up, Stripe, and PayPal. I will be walking you through each one individually, step by step. For Authorize.net, you're required to enter your API login and transaction key. These two pieces of information you're able to obtain simply by going to Authorize.net and logging in using your regular account information. Once you're logged in, on the right hand side, you want to click on Account. This will bring you to the settings page. If you simply go down where it says Security Settings, on the right hand side, you'll see that it says API Credentials and Keys. You want to simply click on that. Here on the API Credentials and Keys page, you'll find the API Login ID. You want to simply copy and paste this first string of information back onto the platform. Once more, go back to Authorize.net, answer the security question. Click on New Transaction Key and hit Submit. Here, you're going to see the transaction key. You want to copy and paste the second string back onto the platform and click Activate. Now, Authorize.net has been activated. The second option in Payment Gateway is Stripe. To set up Stripe, you must first enter your secret key. You're able to obtain this information by going to stripe.com and logging in using your regular account credentials as well. Once you're logged in, on the right hand side, you'll see where it says My Account. You just want to simply click on that to see the drop down menu and then click on Account Settings. A window should pop up. And on the top, you'll see a button with a key that says API Keys. Click on that. Then on the bottom half of the screen, you'll see that it says Live Secret Key. You just want to copy and paste this string of information back onto the platform. Click Activate. And now Stripe has been set up. The third option in Payment Gateway is PayPal. To set up PayPal, you must first enter your client ID and secret. These two pieces of information you're able to obtain by going to developer.paypal.com. Again, using your regular user credentials, log into your account. And once you're logged in, you're going to see on the right hand side, they'll see dashboard. You just want to click on that. And I'll bring you to my apps and credentials page. If you scroll slightly a bit down to the REST API app section, you'll see a button that says Create App. You want to click on that. Here you're able to name your new app. In this case, I'm going to name ours Green Festival 365. Click on Create App button below. And it'll bring you to this page. Notice that on the right hand side where it says Sandbox and Live, you want to toggle this button and set it to Live. In the box that says Live API Credentials, slightly down you'll see that it has this client ID string. You just want to copy and paste that back onto the platform. Go back to the developer page. You'll see that it says Secret and then Hyperlink Show. Click on that. And then copy and paste the second string. Click on Activate, and now PayPal has been set up.